Welcome to the mystical village of Mizuho. Where everyone is a ninja. Sheena, what is the meaning of this? How could you bring outsiders into the village? I am prepared to accept my punishment. Inform the Vice Chief. I've brought the travelers from Silverant. From Silverant? You are from the dying world of Silverant? Well, except for me. I see. Sheena, come with me. The rest of you, wait in front of the Chief's house. He's awake. Where am I? You're our prisoner. Don't try anything funny. I like to think that I'm smart enough not to start trouble when I don't understand the situation. And yeah, he's woken up. And is he actually in our... Okay, he's not in our party. Even though he's with us, he's not in our party, which is... Yeah, it is what it is. I just thought because when we had Prisea, you know, whatever. Um, this guy. I love this guy. Welcome to the variety shop, Toyama. We also offer customization services. We don't need anything. I think you could. You don't do the thing yet. I want you to do the thing, but you don't do the thing. What if we check this thing with the thing? Can't do the thing with the thing. Yeah, I can play the uh, uh, the game where you... Whatever. The Vice Chief is ready to see you. Travelers from Silverant, you may enter. Thank you. Our leader, Chief Igaguri, is ill. I, the Vice Chief Taiga, shall speak on his behalf. Because Sheena failed to kill you, we, the people of Mizuho, now face persecution from the Tetheala royal family and the Church of Martel. Is that true? Yes, at least from what I've heard. Now I have a question. People of Silverant, what do you plan to do in Tetheala, the land of your enemies? I've been thinking about that for a long time. Someone asked me why I came all the way to Tetheala, what it is that I want to do. I want a world where everyone can have a normal life. I'm tired of people having to become sacrifices. I'm tired of discrimination. I'm tired of people becoming victims. I'm tired of it all. You are an idealist. The worlds of Tetheala and Silverant flourish only by victimizing the other. So long as that structure remains the same, anything you say is mere sophistry. Then we need to change that structure. This world was made by that Yggdrasil guy, right? If a human or elf built this, then we should be able to change it as well. <laughs> you speak like the hero, Mythos. He was a sublime idealist. He ended the ancient war by insisting there was a way for the two warring countries to coexist in peace. Are you saying you can become the next Mythos? I'm not Mythos. I want to save the two worlds my way with the help of my friends. I see. In other words, you aren't worried about following past methods. Well then, we shall search for a new path as well. Vice Chief, do you mean... Yes, we will use our information network to aid you. In return, when the path of prosperity for both worlds has been found, we wish to move our people to Silverant. But I don't have any right to decide something like that. All we need is for you to aid us in our move. Is everyone okay with us joining forces with the people of Mizuho? if it will change the relationship of the two worlds. Well, it doesn't sound like a bad deal. Let's hurry up and decide so we can go rescue Prisea. As long as Tetheala is safe, I don't care what you guys do. Okay then, it's settled. 
We're going to look for a way to change the two worlds. Let's work together. Agreed. Then I hereby order Sheena to continue to accompany you. This time, however, not just as an observer, but as a representative. Make us proud. Yes, sir. But Taiga, you sure you want to turn the royals and the church against you like that? How about if I ask you? Given a choice between the forces which wish to sacrifice one of the worlds, and the force that wishes to preserve both worlds, which would you side with? I'd like to say the one that's likely to win, but I suppose I'd want to help the side that wants to preserve both worlds. Exactly. Now the first thing we shall do is devote all our resources to locating the Riards. Fortunately, it appears that Sheena attached a guardian to the Riards, so we should be able to locate them shortly. Understood. Thank you for your help. Is he for real? What's your name? Regal. Regal, huh? I'm sorry, but we're gonna have to keep you prisoner for a bit longer. Lloyd, how about letting Pops here fight too? Even though he might betray us? He has business with Prisea, right? And he's not gonna try anything before he gets a chance to speak with her, you know? Actually, that's not a bad idea. Rain? I don't know about this, but I won't make a fuss. I also started off as your enemy. Well, will you fight alongside us for now? Alright. I swear upon my good name and these shackles that bind me, I shall not betray you. If you do anything, even the slightest bit suspicious, I'll burn you to a crisp, got it? Well then, welcome to our group, Regal. Regal, join the party. I am so happy about that. You have absolutely no idea. And because he has a bit of a thing with Prisea that we don't know yet, we're going to keep him in the party with Prisea. And oh my god, we need to heal. Uh, what can we do? I think think Crescent Moon is good enough for the unison attack. I don't know. But yeah, Regal has joined our party. Just look at him! Just look at him! He, I have been waiting for this moment for so long. He is one of my favorite party members in this entire game. He's basically like in the fight we had with him earlier. He's Kind of a glass cannon. Doesn't have much defense, but has a huge attack stat. And he's pretty good. And I love his I love like all of his backstory, which we will find out along the way. This guy is just one of my favorite characters, and for so many good reasons. Also, we didn't check the status screen for everybody else. Prisea Combatier, or Combatier, or whatever, and Zealous Wilder. And of course, everybody else. And we have a new title for Lloyd, which increases TP, defense, and intelligence, I think. But also, yeah, decreases HP and strength. Do I want that? Wait, that there's no change to my HP there. What? There's... Oh, upon level up. Okay. Uh, well, what do we need? Do we need more TP? <laughs> kind of. I think I'm going to keep Gentle Idealist, because we do need more defense. We do need a little bit more intelligence. Not going to look, like, dumb. <laughs> but if that intelligence is supposed to be IQ as well, like, hypothetically, he has pretty low IQ. Genus is freaking smart. I know it's not the IQ, but, you know. And we do need a bit more TP. Now will you do the... <sighs> we will get to you one day, Blue Ninja. 
I hope they can find the Rehards. Mizuho's intelligence network is nothing to sneeze at. They'll find them for sure. Yeah, I've heard some incredible stuff about the Mizuho intelligence network. Supposedly, they know the location of all Trojans in Tethayala. You bet. When we really want to, there's nothing we can't find out. Sounds like a great thing to have on our side. Eh, I wonder if they could research the measurements of all the girls in Tethayala for me. You stupid chosen. Uh, okay, will you do the thing now? Okay, actually, I do want to see what you sell. Uh, Mizuho potion. It's a new thing. And you do sell new weapons. Oh, we don't have enough money for all of these new weapons. Uh, it's kind of annoying, actually. Manji seal. Eh, we don't need that. Don't need that either. We've got that. The only new things that are actually good are the card of wind for Sheena, but she did just get the card of lightning. And there's also the shuriken and the sheathen. Lloyd needs new weapons. <laughs> oh, even though the, ugh, the Kotetsu look really nice though. Ugh, it's annoying that I have to get rid of those. And actually... Let's check your customization shop. Um, no, we can't do anything with that. If we didn't sell our stinger ring, no, we don't have the other equipment. Yeah, we can't make anything here. Ah, that sucks. I think it's because that uh, these weapons are kind of further back in the story, I guess. Ooh, Pretty Ribbon is actually good for people, apparently. Uh, let's put on Prisea. And we can just sell the normal ribbon. And we can buy the Shuriken for Colette. Even though she's not going to be fighting that much. Still nice to have. I went past her completely. And Re uh, Regal uses Greaves because he attacks with his feet. It's kind of cool. And I don't think you really have... Oh, you need more stuff. You need more equipment, but we don't have it for you. And you don't sell anything for the equipment. You're really not going to do the thing I want you to do, then. Ugh. So annoying. He, he's part of a kind of a funny event, and I really want it to play out, but it won't. Small Knight. Your name is Persea, correct? About your family. Hey, get away from her! I apologize. So you're her little knight. Don't make fun of me. I've got magic, you hear me? Genus. What, what is it? Don't worry, I'll protect you. He bears no hostility. There is no need for combat. Uh, oh... Also, I have no need for your protection. Oh. Okay. Let's go in here, maybe. No. There is an inn in here, I'm pretty sure. Oh. No, there really isn't. There's two buildings. <laughs> the chief's building and this one house. Uh, pff, wow, there really are only two buildings. Reasons for the shackles. Say, Regal, why do you keep those handcuffs on? These are a symbol of my crime. A crime symbolized by handcuffs? I know, you're a handcuff thief. Oh, that's not it? Uh, and you ran around causing trouble by putting handcuffs on people. I'm sorry. I suppose I should have said it in a way that was easier to understand. And we will learn about that way eventually. Is there a save in here? Do the people of Mizuho just not believe in saving? Because I'm inclined to believe that at this point. Oh, hi. It seems the pursuers have left the forest. 
you should hurry. Alright, let's head for Altessa's place right away. I want to go home to my village. Ah, right. I was at first, then. Yes, Prisea's parents are probably worried about her. We should head to Ozette. And we can finally go back in the forest and get out the actual way we need to go. Which is up this way. And to the field. And I know I can just save on the field for all those people saying that, if you know the game at all. I know. But the one thing I don't want to do is save on the field, because then I will honestly get confused. And where the frick am I going? Oh, it's across the bridge. Okay, I kind of I skipped that battle, though a few new things actually happened there. Is that the Tower of Salvation? Oh, it is. Cool. A few new things happened, and I really want to show them off in a fight now. Uh, fine. Uh, it's a shadow of an enemy that's not visible. This is gonna be tough. So, Regal in combat. We're going to show that off. And also, look at Lloyd's freaking swords. Electric sword, bitches! So cool. But yeah, Regal, like I said, glass cannon. Huge HP. Low defense, massive attack. Which kind of actually makes me wonder. Should I put some defensive things on him? Like, do I have any defensive things equipped to Lloyd? Strength. Stunning. Yeah, gonna take that off of Rain and put it on Regal. Okay. So let's head to Ozette, which is just right here. Ah, uh, we have a skit. Um, you don't trip a lot, do you? No need to worry. Oh, okay. I trip all the time, so I thought if it happened to you, it happened to be the same way, it would be pretty tough for you. Oh, rough for you, sorry. They tell me that you're the chosen from the other world. Yes, although I'm not very chosen-like. On the contrary, your world must be happy to have a fine chosen like you. Oh, I'm sorry. Perhaps that wasn't an appropriate thing to say in regards to the declining world. No, it's okay. But I'm a chosen who wouldn't, who couldn't save the world. Even now, I'm a chosen who values her own life more than the world. So, a chosen who knows the value of life will surely bring forth a new salvation and regeneration. Do you think so? I hope you're right. Oh, that? Quiescent? Quiescent? I don't recognize that word. Boy, we have to follow her! Huh? Yeah. Thank you. Hmm? Are these guests as well? Porters. Oh, I see. Prisea, we have to make a key crest for you. My job awaits. Goodbye. Only Prisea can retrieve the sacred wood used in the ritual at the church. I am quite pleased that she has finally returned. <laughs> That man, he's a half-elf. He is? Now that you mention it, didn't we see him in Meltokyo too? He's creepy. I agree, but uh, I gotta say that I feel sorry for the guy. I mean, he has to deal with the fact that there are magnificent specimens of males around like me. <laughs> I'd say you two are on the same level. I heard that, you little twerp. At any rate, we should have a talk with Prisea. Yeah. <sighs> uh, 
the smell. Look! Oh my... How horrible. What the... This is not cool. How could this happen? Most likely the effect of x parasitism. Prasea has no idea what's become of the person in that bed. How could that... Prasea, are you not coming with us? I must do my job. Let's leave Prasea here for now. Here? If we try to move her, she will just fight back. Let's go see Altessa by ourselves. To ask him about repairing the Keycrest. Yeah. That weird guest of Prasea's... He was in Meltokyo too, wasn't he? Yeah, I have a bad feeling about this. I can sense the smell of blood on him. Let's hurry to Altessa's place. It's dangerous to leave Prasea with that man. And if it wasn't made evident enough... That's not a living being in that bed. Prasea is... catering for... the dead. She is completely oblivious due to the effects of the x fear inside her. <sighs> that scene just hits... so hard. I have no other words for it. Colette, are you alright? Uh, yeah, I stumbled. I'm clumsy. Are you hurt? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. And of course, Colette breaks the tension. But let's just head to Altessa's house, and hopefully we can end this video, because it is an hour and 15 minutes long. Whew. Who is it? Uh, excuse us. We've heard that there's a dwarf living here. Is there any chance we could see him? You desire a meeting with Master Altessa. Please, come inside. Who are you people? My name is Lloyd. We've come in regards to Persea. We heard about you from Kate and Cybac. Leave. What? I don't want anything more to do with that girl. Get out of here. What was that all about? I apologize. The Master does not want to get involved with Prasea. Why? He doesn't care if she dies? It is not that. It is because the Master regrets what he has done. Then please, save Prasea. All she needs is for her keycrest to be fixed. I do not know if that would truly be in her best interest. Why? How could anything be worse than living in that cruel condition while waiting to die? If you are that committed, then you should search for inhibitor ore. Prasea's keycrest isn't made out of inhibitor ore? Correct. Her crest is... Tabitha. What are you doing? Get rid of them! I apologize. I must return. Please, come back again. I will attempt to persuade him. Where can we find the inhibitor ore? I've heard it's mined in the mountain range that extends between Altamira and the Ymir forest. I would like to help if you're going to create a keycrest for Prasea. I can lead you to the mine. Just what is your relation to Prasea anyway? There is none. Yet you sure seem concerned about her. 
Well, either way, you haven't done anything suspicious so far. You're welcome to come along with us. Inhibitor ore is found relatively near the surface of the X-Sphere mine. The mine I know of is across the sea from here, on the southern continent. You said Altamira, right? That place is awesome! Let's stop by there on the way! We don't have time to hang out at that gaudy resort. The sea? We're going out to sea again? Okay then, let's go! Yeah! Let's hurry. By the way, this has been bugging me for a while now. Haven't we met somewhere before? Fine. Ignore me. Not very friendly, are ya? That Tabitha girl was a little strange, you know? Really? How should I put it? She reminds me of you. When you had lost your heart as part of the Angel Transformation. Perhaps it is because she did not engage in respiration. What? Are you saying she wasn't breathing? Are you serious? So it appeared. I would suppose she had. Uh, she could have undergone heavy, heavy training to breathe silently, but... Don't tell me she's an angel too. She didn't seem like a bad person. We can't be too careful. And I'm gonna head back to Ozette. Even though this is a very depressing place. There is actually a save in here somewhere, if I can just find it. Is it up here? There's an inn somewhere, I think, here. You're all with her, aren't you? Her? Persea. You were with that monster. Don't call Persea a monster. What? She hasn't aged a day for the longest time. What are you talking about? That's not all. Even though her father is dead, she won't even make him a grave. She's a monster. Half-elves are nothing compared to her. Will you guys take that monster and get out of the village? I'll thank you for it. You won't regret it. How can you say that? Oh, so you're saying that that child that never grows up isn't weird? Well, I... <sighs> but there's a reason why Perse is like that. Oof. I don't know what it is, but it doesn't change how freaky she is. I doubt you outsiders would understand. Outsiders? It's true that we didn't watch Perseus stay young while everyone else grew old. But that's not Perseus' fault. It's the same reason Half-Elves are persecuted. Yes, if Half-Elves could live apart from humans like the Elves, things might be different. But Half-Elves have no choice but to live in the human villages. And humans experience the difference in the passage of time, and are constantly reminded of the fact that they are different species. Let's save Persea. Nothing good can come out of it if she stays this way. I just wanted to come into the inn! Is this an inn? This is not an inn, I don't think. No. I just wanted to find an inn and get a save point because this is an hour and a half long nearly. Please, just let me save. Ah, let me save. Please be a save point in here somewhere. I... What? Where's the door? D door! <laughs> you. Where the frick are we? I'm confused. Very much so. Is this an inn down here, actually? Please, please, please. Yes! Oh my god, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <sighs> In the next episode, we're going to go to the mines that lay between Altamira and the Ymir Forest. Hopefully get some in inhibitor ore, and hopefully Tabitha persuades Altessa to help Persea become normal. See you guys next time, and goodbye.
Also, this lady is so curious as to why we're so excited to actually come in here. It's been days! I didn't mean to pause. See you guys next time. Goodbye.